Hi everyone, happy Father's Day. Today I'm going to be talking about a few of my favorite kitchen gadgets. Uh, I did a similar post a few years ago, but since then I've accumulated a few more favorites. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first one that I want to talk about is a garlic press. Uh, I used to be really against garlic presses because I thought, that's silly, you can just mince it up with a knife. But there are certain instances when you really need a finer mince, uh, like in a dip, hummus for example, I eat plenty of that, um, especially things with raw garlic that you really don't want to chomp down on a piece of raw garlic, it's pretty strong. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Alright, we start out with a garlic clove here, smash it to get the skin off. Open up the press, stick it in there, apply pressure, voila, you have minced garlic. Scrape it off with a knife, and then you open it up, take out the skin, and then you can, uh, for this model, you can pop it in the dishwasher. It's just fine with the dishwasher. And there you go. Now my hands smell like garlic. Um, the next gadget I want to talk about is pretty much a necessity for my life. It is a nut butter mixer. Technically, it's called a peanut butter mixer, but as we all know, I like a variety of nut butters. Uh, I think I counted five open jars in my fridge this morning. Um, so I'm going to do a little demonstration with this. As we know, natural nut butters tend to separate when you first get them, so you have to mix them to homogenize the oil and the nut and the protein and all that. So. This is the mixer. Uh, it fits most standard nut butter jars. Just screw it on tight. Put the little wand in the hole. And crank away. And then it comes out clean. Unscrew the cap. And voila, you've got mixed nut butter. Yum. Um, and finally, I want to talk about the spiralizer. This was a gift from my aunt for Christmas a few years ago. Hi Aunt Kathy, if you are watching. Um, and I don't eat a raw diet, but I still think this thing is ridiculously cool. Uh, you can make noodles pretty much out of any vegetable. I personally prefer zucchini noodles. Uh, it's great for summer salads and really it's good for any time of year. It's just a nice change of pace, pace from regular pasta. So again I'm going to demonstrate this with some clean zucchini. Chop off the ends here. Stick it on the tines. Get a firm Hold there, and then again we're cranking away, and you get noodles. How cool is that? I know what I'm having for lunch. All right, and that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you enjoy it, and have a great weekend. Thanks, Seth, for doing the camera work.